Hello friends, we have this session on PID controllers, but simply going in for PID controller, that too by the pneumatic mechanism can be a little bit intriguing. So we will go step by step. We will start with PI controllers, then move on to PD controllers and finally go on to PID controllers, proportional integral derivative. So what you see in the diagram below is a PI controller using pneumatic nozzle flapper system. I will not go back to the philosophy of nozzle flapper and so on and so forth. I will not even go back to the philosophy of how error is detected by subtracting P in and P S P. I will not even discuss the role of the feedback bellows or the proportional bellows over here. All this was discussed in the previous session on P controllers, pneumatic P controllers, pneumatic proportional controllers. So those things I will be just continuing from that point onwards and see that one thing which has gone above this is that this additional element this additional element has come over and there is a variable restriction it's a restriction the flow rate of this restriction can be increased or decreased depending upon this and you have opposing bellows these are the opposing bellows is the proportional bellows and these bellows are opposite to that and therefore these are called integral bellows because they play the role of bringing about the integral action. So what is this integral action? Let us see. We have a set point. Let us say the set point is 50% and P in is also 50% and at that point whatsoever is the output we call it as P out is equal to P naught or P zero. Uh, that is something which we have been telling you right from so many uh, different uh, sessions. But suddenly there is a step change in P input. The process variable P input, it suddenly changes. It, it just goes on in a step change. Then what will happen? Corresponding to step change, the moment there is a step change, that very moment, this uh, flapper will move on the right. This gap will reduce. And that very moment, the uh, flow over here will reduce and this P out will increase immediately P out will increase and that increase is on account of the fact that you have uh, lesser flow over here and lesser uh, uh, drop over here and more P out that immediately it increases and that increase in P out is going to counter it's going to counter it's going to uh, uh, have a torque in the clockwise direction to counter the torque in the clockwise in, in, in the clockwise direction. So this anti-clockwise or counterclockwise torque will balance the clockwise torque on account of P in. It happens almost instantaneously. Now, once it happens, once it happens, you see that Along with that, along with that, because of the fact that this this uh, error is still there, this this flapper is still on onto this side, and this is able to uh, get back to this point. This this is going to this increased value. You see, this is a value which has increased. This is what I've said that P out increases immediately. This increased value is slowly, slowly, slowly going to leak into this because the value of P out is more. This is going to slowly and slowly, it's going to fill the integral bellows and the increased pressure is going to increase the pressure in these integral bellows. bellows and it's going to push this flapper again more towards the right hand side thereby reducing the gap thereby further increasing this p out thereby further 
making the pressure slowly and slowly move in this integral so as such this process will continue and the pressure will continue to increase and increase and increase now how quickly it is going to increase that is the slope of increasing will depend upon the restriction if the restriction is uh, uh, tight in that case the uh, slope will be less in case this you loosen this restriction you open this wall you open this variable restriction in that case this will be uh, quickly filling up thereby pushing this back and thereby increasing this p out uh, in in a in a more uh, fast manner so as such what we see over here is that corresponding to the step change in error immediately on account of this uh, this this flapper turning on to this side and the gap reducing and this p out increasing and countering this so this this effect is brought about by by immediate change so this, this is the effect of p controller this is the effect of p controller we have already studied p controller in the previous session and the gain of this is determined by uh, this this was x2 and then this was x1 if you recall i'm not going to repeat those things again but in addition to that as this p out increases this is also going to increase the pressure in this integral and it's further going to push this flopper this flapper on to right which is going to reduce the gap which is further going to p make this p out more and this increased p will further slowly and slowly increase uh, the the pressure over here and integral bellows will keep on filling so the effect is that this will continue to rise and rise and rise and rise so this slope primarily is given by kc upon tau i this slope is given by kc upon tau i tau i is the time taken to repeat you all know what is repeat and repeat per minute and minutes per repeat so all those things you already are aware of in case of integral but right now the thing to be noted is that this tau i that is the time taken to repeat is dependent on this variable restriction if this variable restriction is tight that is opening is small it will take more time so this tau i will be more and if this is loose that is it's going to take lesser time to increase uh, the pressure over here so this ti will be small so the value of ti or you can say effectively the integral gain will be de determined which integral gain is given by kc upon t tau i or ti that will be dependent upon this variable restriction which is determining the gain of integral control so in totality you see that this arrangement uh, this is the error detector and this this bellow is taking is playing the role of a proportional control and this bellow is uh, playing the role of integral control and this restriction is be uh, used to control the integral gain and you know how the proportional gain is controlled by controlling this distance x1 or x2 as the case may be uh, that we had discussed in the previous session so from here we can be very very sure that once we have uh, these four bellows and this restriction we can always realize a pneumatic pi controller as such my dear friends before we go to pid controller just to understand the concept we will first go in for uh, another kind of controller which is pd controller which is pd controller so once we are clear about how pd controller works the same concept will be carried forward and we will shift over to pid control uh, in the subsequent slides so my dear friends uh, this is pneumatic proportional derivative controller it is quite similar to the proportional controller but with a slight change the slight change is that you have a variable restriction which is added over here which was not there and of course you have a spring which is added over here so this is again acting as an error detector 
uh, this is the process variable which is getting into it and then you have a uh, set point the pressure corresponding to the set point it is uh, entering into this bellow and the difference of the two is as it was in case of proportional controller as it was in case of pi controller same thing is happening over here but the difference is that suppose now we have a step change we have a step change in p input the process variable then what will happen immediately immediately you will have a, a sharp change in the output why a sharp change because this this is if you remember it was a feedback below which was responsible for countering and making the flapper go back this cannot this cannot fill immediately because of the presence of this restriction so this restriction results in a sharp change immediate change in the output and then as this is going to leak it's going to fill up uh, after a time it's it, depending upon uh, how fast it's going to pick up is depending upon how open this restriction is so effectively this presence of this variable restriction is going to result in an impulse followed by uh, the regular response of the proportional bellow so uh, putting a variable restriction over here is going to result in a kind of impulse signal and you know that it's for for a step change for a step change the uh, output of derivative is impulse so the presence of impulse indicates that this variable restriction acts as the derivative control as as the anticipatory control which of course we all know it has damping effect and so on all those things we are not going to study once again so let us see that the presence of step change how it's going to increase uh, how it's going to increase the output as you can see the process output it, it was at the set point the, suddenly there is a change in process value uh, a deviation from the set point so this becomes the error the proportional response will be also proportional to it that is of the same type integral will be that will start increasing slowly 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 as we had seen in the previous slide but the effect of derivative is that it results in an impulse and there is a sudden increase and then it subsides down and then the proportional response takes place and if at all we have if at all we have uh, integral below over here which is not here which is there if it is there then even this action of integral response will be added on to this so my dear friends in absence of any integral below over here this is acting as a pneumatic pd controller so i have given you a sufficient hint that in case I want to convert this PD controller to PID controller, all I have to do is I have to remove this spring and add uh, uh, integral below. And the moment I add integral below, then you have to have one pipe going from here and going from here and entering into the integral below. But essentially, it cannot enter directly. You have to have some restriction here, and that restriction is going to uh, determine the gain the integral gain and this restriction is going to uh, give you the uh, derivative gain of a PID controller so ultimately uh, in case now I think you already have a very fair idea what we are going to see in the next slide is a PID controller where you will have another bellow with another restriction and this remove this is going to remove the spring from here my dear friends this is the final one uh, as i said it needs no explanation now it is already here with you you have an integral bellow you have uh, a proportionating bellow if i may tell you this is the proportionating bellow this is the integral bellow you have a variable restriction to control the gain of derivative you have a variable restriction to control the gain of integral and uh, of course you know how to control the gain of uh, proportional controller this is acting as an error detector so this is uh, sum of sum of all the three components the three mode control of p i and d controller is realized making use of nozzle flapper units and the feedback bellows and the error detecting bellows and so on and so forth i think now the funda is clear just 
to make it sure that you don't miss the point i may tell you that this variable restriction is used for integral gain and this variable restriction is used for derivative gain so this in all is about pid controllers in pneumatic form that is the pneumatic uh, nozzle flapper units are used in a manner to realize pid controllers so with this we come to a uh, big end of this pid controllers as such and uh, of course we will have little bit of more uh, advanced things like you have cascade control and auctioneering control and split range control and so on and so forth so those kind of things uh, we shall be studying in the subsequent sessions as such in the coming few lectures but uh, uh, the main thing what we were focusing upon pid P all the time pid controllers that we have come officially to uh, happy ending to this slide so i hope uh, uh, you have now a fairly good idea of what PID controllers are. Uh, we will be discussing more about PID controllers in the digital form in, in the next session, not in the next session as such, in the next semester in advanced process controls. Uh, you will be having similar kind of uh, video shows uh, for that as well. In case uh, you have any queries, you can always contact me. You know, LMS, WhatsApp, Zoom face to face or telephone cell phone whatsoever i thank you for being with me once again i wish you a very safe stay and enjoy learning bye bye